Girl is home for the first time in six months, but only after her parents stocked up with 60, that's 60 boxes of medication. Six-year-old Daisy Palmer has a rare illness, which means she can't eat or drink. Until a cure is found, she relies on intravenous fluids. Today, she ended her latest stay in hospital after being judged well enough to return home to Essex. Sangeeta Candola was there. You miss your bed and you miss everything at your heart. For a little over six months, six-year-old Daisy today finally got her wish. The posters around her bed at the Royal London Hospital have come down and she and her family, who have stayed here virtually every day, are going home. It's just been a complete upheaval for everybody. Megan's been at Nanny and Grandad's. Thank you, Nanny and Grandad. Um, and we've tried to be here as much as we can for, for Daisy to get her through a really tough time that she's mm. had. Um, but we've done it and we can go home and um, be, be a family After seven months. After seven months. Seven months? Yeah, it's been a long one, hasn't it, Days? You're looking forward to getting back in your own bed? Yes. <laughs> no. Daisy, who suffers from chronic intestine pseudo-obstruction disorder, or CIPS, is a rare illness, meaning she can't eat or drink. Instead, she's fed fluids through an intravenous strip fitted through her heart. Six months on, she's not cured, but armed with over 60 medications, she's stable enough to leave the comfort of the ward and the nurses she's grown to love. I think it's going to be really sad not having Daisy around for us because she's such a lovely character to have on the ward as well as her family but it's obviously really good for her to be going home after six months solidly being in hospital and hopefully get things back to normality for her and the family. Back at home in Langdon Hill, Essex and Daisy's all smiles at her homecoming. You get to be home because you get to play with your own toys and you don't have to sleep with your mum. So today, you're going to be sleeping back in here by yourself? Mum, you probably keep coming in and checking on me. Mum Tracy will be administering all the medication to Daisy through the night. The family say as so little is known about her condition, they need more research. Really, the, this illness is not something that's just going to go away. It needs research. Um, Pseudo-obstruction is it, it, a horrible illness that these kids are dealing with, like Daisy. As Daisy settles back home, she's already worked out what's first on her list. Play with my T-shirt and Teddy's a mum and dad and my sister. Sangeeta Candola, London Tonight. How do you feel? Well, we hope Daisy and her family are watching tonight and they're having a lovely first evening at home. That is the latest from London Tonight.